All right, we're going to take a look at an Aerotech K2050 Super Thunder, specifically the option to glue the grains within the liner, and kind of a general video of gluing the grains as well as putting the motor together. I'm going to start off with just scuffing the outsides of the grains, some light sandpaper, removing any debris, anything major that you see. Just kind of taking the sheen off the glassine a little bit. I'll do that to all four grains and pick it up from there. We'll also grab the liner, same sandpaper, take a little of the edge off the inside and outside of the liner, top and bottom. Test fit all the grains, make sure they're not going to bind when they get bonded. Slide in there pretty easily. And the nozzle at the rear. There's not a whole lot of room left at the top there, so I gotta go make sure not to go crazy with the amount of glue I throw in there. And the seal disc, once the o ring is added to the seal disc, will sit on top. So after I glue the grains in, I'll probably drop the seal disc on, tape around that, and also tape around the bottom, and I'll let it cure upright. After I use the super lube, I'm going to have to change my gloves anyway, so I may as well go ahead and just grease all the O-rings. seal this go ring in place Get that guy ready also the forward and aft insulator o-rings one goes on top of the nozzle the other one goes on top of the seal disc at the forward end of the motor Also go ahead, just put together the forward closure while I have everything out. I just happen to be using a plugged and threaded forward closure. I believe this motor you have to use electronic deploy with, if I recall correctly. Drop the uh, forward delay spacer in the bottom there. Pretty liberal with the grease, especially on a plug motor. I don't think you have to worry about any grease getting on the delay on this particular load. Drop that whole assembly in. There's some O-ring compression there. And again, for ease of cleanup, I'm pretty liberal with the with the lube. So, forward closure is ready to go. Set that off to the side. The liner's scuffed. The grains are ready to go. Now I have to wet the outside of the grains, dampen them per the instruction on the Elmer's Glue All Max. Throw some glue on there, drop them in the liner, and it will be left to cure overnight. I'm going to go ahead and wet the outside of these grains. Again, I'm doing this in line with the instructions on the Elmer's Glue All Max.
just wiping down the exterior. I don't think you're trying to soak them, you're just trying to get them a little bit damp. fresh pair of gloves here, get the liner ready to go, also try to have some tape at the ready as well, alright, now, just run a bead of the glue on there, Smearing that around the outside of the grain. Drop them in the liner. Grab the second grain, same thing. Just kind of spinning it around in my hand, evenly coating the outer, you know, the entire outside of the grain. Not a lot's getting on the face of the grain, so we should be good. Second grain. Fourth and final. It does kind of tighten as you go. The last grain. You definitely got a little bit, a little bit tighter there. I'm take off the one glove. Wipe down the inside there where the nozzle will go. And go ahead and drop him in place. Push the grains back down till it stops the nozzle. Throw a piece of tape on the bottom as well. That's just holding the whole stack together while it cures. Grab my seal disc with the seal disc o-ring. It's going to drop him in place right now as well. All right, we're going to finish this K2050 build. The grains were bonded into the liner. This has been sitting for about 24 to 30 hours. So that's good to go. The case, throw a little bit of grease in the front and the rear. liner. Throw a layer of grease on the outside of it, top to bottom. case over it. Looking at the forward end here with the seal disc. Drop in one of the eighth inch o-rings directly on top of the seal disc. And thread on the forward closure. that till it was fully seated. Same thing on the bottom.
I'll ring around the nozzle. Gas closure. Beginning to get good O-ring tension when it's about an eighth of an inch away from the bottom. And once I clean up the grease I have on the outside of the case, I'll do a final tighten on the aft closure here in a second. All right, pulled all the grease off the case. See how much gap is there with the O-ring. And he actually bottomed out almost the full way. So K2050 is good to fly.